Hey everyone, it's Jasmine from Magic Tarot, and I'm here to do a three card spread for all zodiac signs for August 23rd, 2019. I've pre shuffled the cards and have three cards here for you. We have the Strength, we have the Hermit, and then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, for the first one, we have Strength, and this is a major arcana, so this is the, the I guess I would say the feeling or the attitude. Okay, so here we have a lady. She's trying to shut the lion's mouth. You know, the lion comes in with a big old roar, and she's afraid, but she's finding her strength to shut the mouth. And if you notice, she's got the infinity sign, so that means forever. Okay, that means that life force goes on and on. Okay, so when you get this card, it means that a lot of you, I'm seeing a lot of you are being afraid of something. Um, you're needing to gather your strength and your courage. Because you're afraid to face something. Maybe you're afraid to face another person. I'm seeing an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some of you need to say something to a person that's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And you just don't know how to say it. Uh, maybe you want to break up with someone of that sign. Or you want to say something to them. And you just don't have the courage to say it. Or don't have... Um, you know the words to say and it's and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the conditions around you it could be with your job you need to say something to your boss or your fellow employee and and you just can't find the words to say you're kind of confused and afraid or afraid of what might happen if you do speak up maybe i'm i'm seeing that you saw someone doing something at work that they weren't supposed to and and you need to say something but you can't because you're afraid of the outcome um, I'm also seeing a neighbor doing something that you they weren't supposed to do, so you like to speak up, and I'm you're afraid of that outcome as well. Whatever it is that you're facing, you need to gather your strength and your force and your courage so you can do so and, and move forward with whatever it is that it is that you want to do. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of you going into the thinking mode. You see how this man is standing on the hill and he's got his head down, he's thinking. And he's got his light. That's the light to light his way. And he's hanging his head because he's thinking. This is the Hermit. Um, this represents Taurus or Capricorn. I'm seeing a lot of you going into this thinking mode before you proceed because you're afraid of something. And, and you're going to be thinking about it. Okay, so you're, you're thinking. You're inside your mind. You're wondering, you know, what's going to happen if you do this or that. I'm also seeing unconditional love and understanding coming in from somewhere. Uh, maybe from a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn is going to show you some type of unconditional love. Um, um, so when you get this card here, you're wishing for things to materialize, but you just don't know how to make them come about. Um, again, you're afraid of, of um, what might happen. I see a lot of you seeking some type of counsel, um, you know, to make your, your decision on what you want to decide on. This is... When you get the major arcana, it's more of like feel, the way you're feeling opposed to what you're doing. You know, the, it's the feeling for that day or, or the attitude for that day or, or for the atmosphere for that day. Okay, so um, you, you, you're seeking the truth for yourself. I'm seeing a lot of you seeking the truth for yourself to, so you can decide for yourself. Um, so a lot of you are withdrawing, meditating, going inside to inside your mind so you can decide what it is you want to do. Both these cards, this one shows you got got to gather strength so you can be able to do this here. Um, but I do see unconditional love, help, uh, some kind of counsel coming from a Taurus or a Capricorn, um, and you're and you're wanting to find some kind of truth within yourself. Um, so there's, there is someone that's coming to help you along your path, you know, and, and this is like I'm seeing a more mature person that's coming in to give you some kind of truth, some kind of wisdom, or some kind of counseling. But um, I'm also seeing some of you that are living like like a hermit. You're you're wanting to move forward in love, but you, you're too afraid, so you're living like a hermit all by yourself without any friends or family or anything and, and you want to get out of that phase but you're not doing anything about it you're just sitting there you know by yourself and so you need to go out you know go out go have fun even if you don't have any friends 
you know, get on social media. You can chat with people. Um, you can always go somewhere and sit, listen to music, and, you know, just talk to whoever's around you. Try to make some friends, you know, or just get out and about in the public, go to the mall, things like that. Because I'm seeing someone that's very alone, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, and just sitting there all by themselves, don't have any friends or anything. And maybe you don't have any family members, but you can always chat on social media. Um, go to the gym. The gym is a good place to meet people. The mall is a good place to meet people. Um, go to a, a place that has a where you sit and drink and eat, and they have a, a live band playing. You can always meet people that sit next to you. You know, something like that. And just be careful when you go to parks. I'm seeing something in a park. <laughs> okay, so the next one you have is the Nine of of a swords and again this is fear i see fear here and i see fear here a lot of you are feeling afraid um that if you make that decision that you're trying to make that it's not going to turn out the right way you see how she's standing there all blindfolded and bandaged and all these um all these swords are around her you know she's like in a prison and some of you are feeling like you're in a prison um but you don't have to feel that way because you make your own prison when you um when you confine yourself in your own thoughts, you make your own prison for yourself. I'm seeing a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that might be feeling this way. Um, you know, your own thoughts can imprison you. And and really, no one is in prison unless you're in a real prison. And I am seeing someone in prison, like a real prison, that's, that's uh, feeling this way as well. But they're about to get out, okay? I've been seeing that a lot in this last two weeks of August. Someone's coming out of jail or prison. Um, but if you're in your own prison, in your mind, because of all this that's happening here, you don't have to feel that way. You can come out of that feeling, out of that stage. Um, you can move forward with your life. You just got to figure out ways to, um, you know, if you're all alone, because I'm seeing someone that's all alone, you got to figure out ways to make more friends and, and get involved. There's a lot of social groups out there that you can join they'll make you have friends you know there's many many social groups out there you just google them and those social groups will pop up and if you don't have any friends you know join some of those social groups and then you'll you can make friends there so yeah so you don't have to be in that type of self-imprisonment because you can come out of that really easy if you just you know start searching and looking for stuff so sorry my little blue cloth here is messing up but anyway um and like again I said someone is coming out of jail um, this person that's coming out of jail is a Gemini Libra and Aquarius is what I'm seeing and they're afraid as well they're afraid that society is not going to accept them back that um, maybe you know no one's going to want to be their friend or they're not going to be able to find a job um, or whatever but you are going to find a job. You just got to keep trying to do whatever it is you're supposed to do. If, if you're supposed to see a probation officer, you know, they always have places where they send you where you can find a job. I know that because I've known a lot of people that's been in prison and they come out and then their probation officers find them jobs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so th this is a vicious cycle. When you get this card, it's a vicious, vicious cycle of self-imprisonment, restrictions, you know, but you need to find some type of clarity and get yourself out of that, you know, and seek counsel if you have to. I'm seeing that a lot of you need to seek counsel for some reason or the other. So, yeah. So, um, you have the strength, the hermit, and the nine of swords. So, that's not really a bad reading, you know, and you can come out of this phase here. Remember, it's just one daily energy and always come back for the next to see what the next day holds so this is for all zodiac signs if it doesn't resonate with you because i see this only resonating with a few people maybe this part with everyone and this part with just a few people but you can come back for the next reading and see what the future holds for you thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and come again next time okay bye bye